Hey, it's Cara. Today I've got the Kat Von D Metal Matte Palette. This palette is huge and it has some really amazing colours. So this is what the palette looks like. On one side it says metal and when you turn it around it says matte. All the matte shades are on the bottom half and all the shimmer shades are on the top half and they range from cool tones to the warm tones. If you're someone who likes to create loads of different kind of crazy out there looks then this palette is definitely for you. Because it's such a big palette I thought I could create so many different looks with this so during this video I'm going to be doing four different looks. All the looks have been inspired by the look that Kat Von D creates as a brand. They're very out there with their makeup, they do some really cool looks and I've been following them on their YouTube channel which I'll link below as well so you can go check them out. Basically the craziness behind my makeup in this video is because I wanted to really just have a bit of fun with some makeup and I hope you enjoy the video. I'm going to go in with the shade called Suede. I'm going to brush that over my eyelids. Go in with the shade Oak, the dark brown matte shade. I'm going to go in with this kind of yellowy shade called Feather. I'm just going to apply that to the inner corner of my eyes. Synergy, which is the shimmery brown shade. I'm going to get my angled brush and go in with the shade Nebula. Take um, a fluffy brush and just kind of blend it underneath. Okay, so I've just put on some mascara on my top and bottom lashes and added some fake eyelashes as well. Now for the lips, I'm going to use the Everlasting Liquid Lipstick by Kat Von D in the shade Bow and Arrow. I'm going to highlight my brow bone with the shade Glitz. and also in the inner corner of my eyes as well. And to finish off the lip look, I'm gonna put Synergy, which is the shimmery brown shade that I also use on my eyes, and add it to the center of my lips. And now we have the final look. Okay, so this look I created with the more purple tones from the palette. It's a very subtle, soft look. Out of all the looks that I'm creating, this one's pretty, well, wearable. It's pretty wearable. It's just more daytime, um, a little bit more subtle, and but still got that Kat Von D itch. If you want to find out how I did this, keep watching the video and I'll show you how I do it. I'm going to get a blending brush and go in with the shade Fringe peachy pink matte shade. Use the same fluffy brush and go into the shade called Twinkle, which is the lavender shimmer shade. And it is so super, super shimmery. Really, really nice lavender. Okay, I'm going to attempt a winged eyeliner look now. So I'm going to take a small angled brush, I'm going to wet it, and I'm going to dip it into the shade called Ribbon.
And we're now going to go in with Fringe again, the colour that we first started with, the peach shade. And I'm going to just apply that underneath my eyes. I'm going to go in with Glitz and I'm going to highlight my brow bone. I'm going to put some mascara on and some false lashes. Just put some mascara on my top and bottom lashes and some natural fake lashes. I'm gonna get a little soft fluffy brush and go in with the fringe again. And I'm just gonna dust it over my lips. And then what I'm gonna do is go in with the twinkle. I'm just gonna place that in the center of my lips. Okay, so I had a little problem with this because I lost the first half of the video, but basically I built up the halo eye with suede and oak on the inner corners and outer corners of the eye. And that's all that you miss. So basically you just want to make sure that you've, had the, you've got the darker areas um, on the outside and the inner corner to create your halo eye look. Now I'm going to add velvet which is the burgundy colour. I'm going to add that just slightly in. So it's not the darkest shade, but it's just going to add a bit of purple to the eye look. I've added some to the tip of the brush and I'm just going to go underneath the eyes. Now going in with a clean fluffy brush, I'm going to use the gold shade called Flash. I'm just going to apply that to the centre of my eyelids. Then I'm just going to add velvet again with my other fluffy brush. And I'm just going to add a little bit more to the outer corner. Now I'm just going to go over the top of the gold colour with shade Synergy, which is a shimmery brown shade. I'm going to use the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in the shade, shade Trooper. I've done my mascara off of camera now. I'm gonna um, add my false lashes. This look is really extreme. I really like it. I'm also just gonna highlight the, highlight the brow bone area with glitz. And now I'm gonna use the Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Lolita. I think this is definitely one of my favourite shades, I really love it. But I'm going to change it up a little bit for this look and I'm going to use some shades from the palette. I'm going to use Synergy on the tip of my finger. And now we've got a really nice bronzy feel and it actually feels really nice. create like a cut edge so what I'm gonna do is I've got my little sellotape friend my little flamingo sellotape friend I'm just gonna use some of the tape from that and it's supposed to just be like cool sellotape but it's really weak it hardly sticks at all so that's why I'm gonna use it underneath my eyes I'm going to start off with the dark matte blue shade called velour so I'm gonna use that on the outer corner of my eye and then start to kind of bring it in
I look really weird. I'm gonna use the sparkly dark blue shade called Nebula. Here, so off center, but just still on the lid. I'm gonna use Ignite in the inner corner of my eyes. I'm gonna just highlight with pencil. So just kind of blend it out. I'm gonna use the black shade, the black matte shade called Jet. I'm just gonna use it literally as close as I can get to the sellotape. Like kind of bring it out a bit, almost like you're making a winged liner with the eyeshadow. And I'm also gonna just put some on the tip of the brush and go underneath my eyes. You just wanna gently peel it. Oh my god. Ridiculous. With the Locket Foundation, I'm just gonna go and tidy it up a little bit. Um, I'm gonna go in with the Jet um, Black colour again, and I'm just gonna add a little bit more. I put on my own mascara and put on some false lashes. They're really crazy eyelashes, um, and I think they are perfect for this look. Or a highlighter on my cheeks. I thought I would use a bit from the palette just to show you guys that you can really get good use out of this palette. Mm. I'm going to try the Kat Von D Everlasting Lipstick in um, the shade Noble. It's actually quite cool. It's like I'm serving some fish mermaid situation like now that the lipsticks have, lipstick has dried matte, I'm gonna use Glitz, which is the same shimmer that I used on my, to highlight my cheekbones. I'm just gonna put a little bit on my finger and dab it in the center. I think it's pretty fun, it's a really fun look. So this is the end of the video, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, and remember that makeup is just makeup and you can take it off at the end of the day uh, so just make sure that you're having fun with it and experimenting with it and creating crazy looks because I've been inspired by this Kat Von D palette that I thought yes I'm just gonna go for it so and that's what it's all about really I hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up remember to like and subscribe to my channel I've also done a blog post for this as well link will be in the description bar below there'll be close-up images of all the looks that you've just seen so make sure you give that a little look as well bye